Welcome back to World Drum Club, friends. I'm Kalani Dost, your host and teacher, and I want to share something with you all that I just got in the mail. And these are some sticks for cajon uh, and other things from um, a friend of the channel, a fan of the channel. So check it out. We're going to test these out right now. I, I literally am unboxing these um, as I speak. <laughs> All right, so this is what we have, and uh, I came with a letter. Where's the letter? Here we go. So just to explain what's happening with these, I'm excited about this. So these are from Eric Bunch. Uh, thanks, Eric, for sending me a group of mallets. Um, we appreciate you taking the time and interest in Jack's Sticks, J-A-X-S, J-A-X-S. Um, so what we have are three handheld cajon beaters and a pair of big booms. I guess the big booms are the, are the blue ones. So let's check them out, right? Let's do it. Also, I want to point out that I've got a dangerously, um, illegal shirt <laughs> I made for World Drum Club, but you know, I'm on YouTube, right? So... Let's see if I get sued. I don't know. I think YouTube's going to like this. But get your get your World Drum Club swag below. It's at Teespring. You can go there. You get your Play Your Drum shirt or the drummer, um, you know, Supreme logo look drummer shirt, whatever. You just, you know, this is, this is a brand new one, though. So it's the premiere. All right. Go get yours today <laughs> before, before I get a cease and desist order. All right. So let's check these out. Um, here's what we have. I like the uh, the tie-dye kind of throwback look and then some bright colors. These are fun. So first, right off the bat, these are uh, real, you know, they've got a real handmade crafty feel, but but still really nice. Um, I think this this looks like, looks like oak to me. It doesn't feel like oak though. So what is this wood? That's the first question. Um, it's, it might be a hardwood. It's nice. It's smooth. He's got some uh, burning here like some uh, wood burning or something here that makes it uh, kind of serrated uh, it gives a little texture on these and then these are taped obviously and yeah so this is jack sticks uh, these must be the big booms so i'm going to actually not review these right now because these are not necessarily for cajon i think these are just for like tom toms or you know, anything where you want a, basically a mallet. So these are not that different than your standard timpani mallet or maybe some cymbal mallets. Um, I'll, I'm going to set these aside for another review video. And we're going to focus right now on the cajon mallets. Because, why? Because I'm on a cajon. That's right. So I don't know um, if these have their own names. Uh, let's just start and check them all out. I want to give you a sound comparison between playing with the hand and playing with the cajon mallet, and then we can see um, how they're different, how they're, the, how they're similar. Okay, so first, of, first off though, look down at the top here. You can see there's different layers of different kinds of material, and it's basically like a felt material that's wound around. This one has sparkles on it. I don't know if you guys can see that on the video, but it's got sparkles. Watch out for sparkles. They're, they're easier to get than they are to get rid of. Um, but that's fun. Really fun tie-dye pattern. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, so let's start with the tie-dye. We'll call it the 60s mallet. I don't know. I just gave it that name. Okay, so first of all, here's with the palm of the hand playing a bass tone. All right, and now cajon mallet. There's some stuff in my studio that's rattling. I'm not going to fix it right now, but that's not coming from the cajon. seems like about right here we're getting a, a nice resonance 
But of course, since it's a mallet or a cajon mallet, I'm not reaching down here to hit the head here. I can just hold the mallet like this. So it actually reduces the, uh, need, the need to bend over into the head of the drum. All right, so that's what this one sounds like. Let's move on. Let's go with the blue one. Oh, so a bit firmer, a bit harder sound. Stuff's really rattling over there. I don't know. Sorry. All right, that's the blue one. Let's go with the let's go with the yellow one. So my feeling is, even though these are all similar, to me the yellow one feels a little bit softer. It's got more cush. So not really made to play up, you know, in the corners, which is fine. Um, and also there is a seam on here. I don't know how well that's showing up on the video either, but there's a seam, of course, because this is wrapped around. Um, so you want to be mindful of that. You might like that sound. You might want to avoid it, use it in different ways, but you do want to be aware of the seam. I might take a little marker and just put a mark on that seam so I can see it easily. I could see where if I was on a gig and I pulled it, let's say I'm recording something and I need to go back and overdub, I wanna make sure I get the same sound uh, or I wanna pick up a track you know, and make sure I'm getting the same sound I had. I don't wanna have half the track with the seam and half the track not on the seam. So I wanna um, make sure I know the orientation of the mallet. But you could certainly use it either way. Let's compare these. All right, so here's the blue. Yellow. Pretty close in sound. Um, yeah, I think they're just whatever you prefer. So what's the verdict? I kind of like these, actually. I could see using these on a gig. I could see just maybe using it even on a mounted cajon where I'm standing up and I want to get, you know, a, a, the bass sound on a cajon, but I'm not going to sit on it. Uh, maybe I want to just use it and play in conjunction with other drums that I need to use a mallet on and I, you know, I don't want to switch back and forth between my hand and, and sticks so I can use these safely and effectively, safely and effectively on the cajon, on the bass, and I'm not hurting the instrument at all. I think it gets a great full sound. Um, obviously, it doesn't give you as much versatility as playing with your hand because I can do that with the hand. But if you're doing bass, you know, bass tones with one hand and slaps with the other hand, then you don't have that issue. Um, by the way, I am miking this with, I'm getting a little bit up in my, you know, my regular shotgun mic that I use uh, for a lot of things, but that's mainly a vocal mic. And then down here, I've got an SM57 on a stand pointed right into the sound hole of the cajon on the side. So that's what's happening with the miking. What do you think? Um, about my new shirt. Now, what do you think about the uh, Jack Sticks Cajon Mallets? Uh, if you'd like to give them some feedback or go find out more, I'll leave a link to wherever you can find them online. You can probably just do a search and find them, but I will leave a link as well. And, uh, you know, go tell those guys you saw it here on, on World Drum Club. Ask them some questions. You can leave questions below, but I just got these. Obviously, I'm not an authority on Jack Sticks, so... Go talk to those guys. I'm sure they'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, I want to thank um, Eric for sending these out. If you have things you want me to try out and share with our global drumming community on World Drum Club, I'd be happy to do that as well. And you can find some information on my website, kalanimusic.com, or you can ask me here on YouTube. And you can become a patron to support the channel uh, in other ways besides buying World Drum Club t-shirts because you love the design, um, while they last, because it's probably illegal. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash Kalani and uh, support the site there as well on a monthly basis. And 
be eligible to win lots of cool stuff and get some videos that we don't see here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Kalani. This has been a review of Cajon Mallets. I'll see you in a future video.